So we have this trinomial 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. And what you want to do with the box method of factoring is you want to multiply the a value times the c value. So 3 times negative 8, that's negative 24. And so we say what two numbers multiply to negative 24, but they have to add to that middle coefficient, that b value, negative 2. So in this case, it's going to be negative 6 times positive 4 is negative 24, and negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. You want to make sure these numbers are uh, the same in both of these scenarios. So then what you do is you take this middle term, the negative 2x, and you split it up into negative 6x and positive 4x. And it doesn't matter. You can put these either here or here, but you can see these add up to the negative 2x, the middle term. Then you put the first term up here in the upper left-hand corner and the constant, or this last term over here in the bottom right-hand corner. Then what you do is you look at these rows horizontally and you say to yourself, what's the greatest common factor? What can I divide out of both of these groups? Well, in this case, it's just x. When I divide this by x, I'm left with 3x. Here I'm left with 4. And then the greatest common factor in this row is going to be negative 2. And you can see 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And now we have our two factors. See, it's 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. And you can multiply these out and verify that it gives you back this original trinomial. If you want to see more examples of box factoring, check out the video I did right there. And I'll see you over in that video.